<clears throat> Hi, and welcome to our video for 14.1 Properties of Gases, where we're going to take a more in-depth look at the behavior and properties of gases. So one thing, important thing that makes gases unique amongst gases, liquids, and solids is their compressibility, which is a measure of how much the volume of matter decreases under pressure. And gases, uniquely gases, because solids and liquids aren't, are easily compressed. And why is that? Well, since the particles are so far apart, right, since the particles are spread way out, if we do something to push in on the container, it's easy to push the particles closer together, right? And an important thing to remember is that solids and liquids are not compressible, okay? So gases are unique in the fact that they are compressible. All right, so let's think about some relationships in gases. So first, let's think about the amount of gas and the pressure, right? The amount of gas would be the number of particles within the container that we'll refer to usually as N, and pressure we'll refer to as P. And the more the particles, the higher pressure. So as there's more particles, there's higher pressure. And why is that? because that's just all these particles are moving and every time they bounce on the wall of the container, they push on it. More particles means more things colliding or bouncing on the container leads to more or higher pressure. Okay, volume, volumes of V and pressure. Generally, the lower the volume, the higher the pressure. So if we take this number of molecules here, all this, and squeeze this box here and make it smaller, there's going to be higher pressure because once it's smaller, the particles will collide against the walls more frequently. Next relationship between temperature, T, and pressure. Generally, the higher the temperature, the higher the pressure. Why is that? Because remember, the temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles and kinetic energy is the energy of motion. So the more they're moving, the faster these particles are moving, the more they'll collide against the surfaces of the container, higher pressure. And finally, temperature and volume. Now this requires a flexible container, right? Like a balloon, which will be our common example. As the temperature goes up, once again, the particles are moving faster. They're hitting the walls of the container harder. And a flexible container will actually get bigger. So if here was the original size, here's a bigger size from the higher temperature. Okay, so kinetic energy. Remember that kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It's important to remember that heat makes particles move. Even in a solid, right, where the particles are packed tightly together, they're not still, they're wiggling. And as the temperature goes up, or as heat is added, the particles wiggle faster. So more heat is going to mean faster movement, which is going to mean a higher temp. All right, so that one was short and sweet. Our next one we're going to get into in quite a bit more depth as we start looking at gas laws and whatnot. All right, see you guys in school.